Welcome to a new daily top ask credit video. Today's topic. What was normal 20 to 30 years ago, but is considered a luxury now. Items not requiring a subscription each month. You'll own nothing and like it, is bandied about as a lefty commie conspiracy. But it's clearly the capitalist's wet dream. Also every little appliance you purchase requiring some app or your email to verify your identity. Just to use the thing. You're a coffee maker. You don't need my email you just need to make me a coffee once every three mornings. Surely you mean three times a morning. Shocking. Good quality fabric in clothing. I have clothes from the 90s and 80s from my mother that still hold up today. These days, I'm lucky if my shirt isn't saggy and misshapen within a year. Women's clothes are terrible in quality anymore. Everything seems so very thin. I'm not fat, but I'm not skinny either. I don't want people seeing my excess. I need thicker clothing and pockets. It's ridiculous. I don't even really buy fast fashion clothing and my clothes really don't last. Especially compared to my partners. Moderately priced men's clothing really is better quality and I don't mind spending extra to have clothes that hold up. When my grandpa died I inherited a lot of his clothes. I wear so much of his L.L. Bean clothes from the late 90s, 2000s. They hold up better than most things I could buy. I wear so much of his L.L. Bean clothes from the late 90s, 2000s. My grandpa traveled 18,000 years into the future and all he got me was this shirt. Getting things repaired instead of buying new. I have a hedge trimmer from the 50s. It broke a few weeks ago, so I pulled out some screws and fixed its simple mechanical motor. Works fine again. Edit. Chill guys, it's an old corded electric, no circuit board. If it doesn't have Bluetooth, how do you control it? <laughs> privacy. It's not that I expect privacy in public, but I shouldn't have to worry about being in someone's video, photo on my way to do the laundry. Either, IDK why people want to film themselves doing laundry. Or gym locker rooms. Put your camera away. I don't care that you got a good pump going and this is when you look good. It's a fucking locker room and you don't have the right. Oh you don't have the right. <laughs> Farmers markets. You used to be able to go down and get fruit and vegetables cheaper than the grocery store. Now it seems like they charge 3x more than stores do. I can remember growing up in Wisconsin. And you'd see a random stand in front of a farm. And you'd get corn like 10, 1 dollar. And it would be the most amazing corn you'd ever taste. Out in Amish country in par you still can find quite a few. Even some unattended stand that work on honesty. But still there has definitely been a noticeable decline from when I was a kid. If they even have food. Three quarters of the booths are just selling artisanal pine cones or some knickknacks. Homemade soap, as far as the eye can see. We're a gourmet mushroom farm with a permanent booth at a large farmer's market in IA. This is always a huge point we discuss all the time. They make it a huge deal to only allow local farmers, microgreens, bakers, meat, etc. The more food products the better. Yeah, we do have lots of knickknacky stuff too. But the board is pretty anal about making sure it's unique if they approve the vendor at all. Also to the point made above you. IDK how many times I get people telling me I should raise my prices on our mushrooms. Price at the stand is usually cheaper than the grocery stores. I get it. We could. But then I'd hate myself for doing it so now I'm happy making a nice margin already. You drive more customers away by price gouging. And my goal is to get more people trying new types of gourmet mushrooms. Like lion's mane. Shiitake. Chestnut. Etc. And they won't if you price it too high. You just screw yourself as a grower that way. When I go to other markets and see other growers charging 3x as much I'm just floored people are buying at all. Not being expected to be reachable 24-7. Why pay for a phone if you're not going to use it? I pay for the mobile computer the phone is attached to. The phone is just one of thousands of functions. I recently decided to keep my phone on silent at all times. Not vibrate. Silent. I check it when I want and not when it goes off. It's made my daily life much better. Single income families buying a home. Buying a home in general. A lot of double income families struggle to own a home. Being left the fuck alone. Buying something and just like. Owning it. Playing a video game without an internet connection. Not having to provide your email address for every single fucking thing you do. Yeah try getting a quick haircut. What's your phone number? Me. No I just want my haircut. But we need it for our tracking. How about an email address? Me. No I just want a haircut. And suddenly people are looking at you like you're a dick. I have even tried the whole, no thanks I just want a haircut, it doesn't matter they are still going to continue asking, I now just make up random shit. Best part is I go to the same place and they know my face and give me the squinty eyes. Pro tip, 867-5309 with any area code will work for just about any service. Sign up, loyalty program, whatever and it's probably already been set up. This pro tip is going to die in a generation. Had this sort of happen at the grocery store. I don't like using the self-checkouts and I honestly think it's healthy to practice just being 
bored waiting without looking at my phone. I was standing in line for the cashier and an employee wandered over. Them. Hey, let's get you set up on a self-checkout line. Me. No thanks. I'm good. Them. It's really no trouble. Follow me. Quote. Me. Stays in line. Nah. I'm good. But thanks. Them. Now looking visibly annoyed. Seriously it's faster. Me. Yep. I know. Thanks. They then walked away but came back a few minutes later and tried to convince me again. Like, my dude, not everything needs to be efficient and tech-based. I spend my entire day in front of a computer. It's healthy and normal for me to want to have some human interaction today with the cashier. It's frustrating how many companies and employees now see your consent as a formality rather than something to actually respect.